Hi, my name is Ariana. And I'm Erin, and this is our analysis of the portrait of Sin Sukju. The portrait of Sin Sukju was created around 1470 to 1475. The subject of the portrait, Sin Sukju, was featured in full-length view, as was the norm in Korean portraiture. The neat, clean lines in the portrait suggested wealth or importance, and the rank badge on his gown featured peacocks, which identified his rank. The peacocks on his gown are shown surrounded by leaves and flowers. In Korean artwork, peacocks symbolized authority. The portrait of Sin Sukju was a meritorious portrait and was likely hung in the family shrine. This was a show of honor and loyalty to the state, and the badge on his gown reveals that of a civic official. The portrait of Sin Sukju was inspired by Confucianist beliefs. In Confucianism, it was believed that families should honor and respect their elders, and many families would participate in ancestral rituals. The portrait of Sin Sukju is an example of the types of artwork featured in family shrines. Although Confucianism began in China, it had spread along the Silk Road to other Asian countries, as demonstrated in this piece of Korean artwork. The portrait of Sin Sukju is a hanging scroll, the technique being ink and color on silk. The artist of this work paid precise attention to the wrinkles and bone structure of the subject's face. This ties into the Korean belief that the face could reveal significant clues about the subject. One of my favorite parts of this piece is the way the artist drew the gown. The crisp lines and subtle changes of color suggest a depth to the portrait, making it all the more lifelike. We thought that the Arnolfini portrait would be a great piece to compare to this work. The Arnolfini portrait is a northern renaissance piece by Jan van Eyck that is chock full of symbols. The piece depicts the marriage of Arnolfini and his wife, and many items are seen throughout the piece circling around the theme of marriage and religion, such as a tiny statue of St. Margaret, the patron saint of pregnancy and an indication of pregnancy, along with a dog which back then represented fidelity and wealth. Other significant symbols included an empty pair of sandals, which, removed as an act, act as a sign of respect and a chandelier with one lit candle representing the seeing eye of God and much more. Along with symbolism, the Arnolfini portrait contains designs that reflect the interests of the culture of the Netherlands. Although there are few designs or motifs that are seen resembling the natural world in this piece, there are still some elements that reflect what the culture believed at that time. Oranges are seen laying around the window along with cherries. These fruits were often seen as a delicacy that the rich culture of the Netherlands enjoyed. Very, ex They were very expensive. Speaking of cultures, this piece makes a cultural co connection with another particularly famous culture in the world of art. Jan van Eyck creates a sense of space in the portrait through the use of linear perspective, a technique attributed or discovered by the Italian artist Fil Filippo Brunelleschi. Jan van Eyck, a Netherlandish artist, took note of this. Jan van Eyck painted thin translucent layers of oil paint and, using the technique he created, he made realistic fabric-like texture on both the gown of the white dress and the rug in the background. He uses linear perspective, although with added lines that don't meet a direct vanishing point. For iconography, both works contain animal symbolism. In the portrait of Sin Sukju, the subject of the scroll was portrayed with peacocks on his robe. In Korean culture, peacocks typically symbolized authority, while the dog in the Arnolfini portrait symbolized wealth. These are two very different animals with similar connotations. The designs in the portrait of Sin Sukju mostly connect with the ideals of Confucianism. The ideals of Confucianism being honoring or worship of a past ancestor. The portrait acts as an object of worship. The Arnolfini portrait consists of references to Christian ideals, having numerous symbols seen throughout the piece showing the importance the people of that time believed of, of the connection of marriage and religion. Although very different, both contain inspiration and influence from other cultures. Exactly. The portrait of Sin Sukju has very strong ties to Confucianism, which was created in China, while the Arnolfini portrait uses linear perspective, which is credited to an Italian artist. The formal characteristics of these pieces are vastly different from one another. The portrait of Sin Sukju was a hanging scroll, while the Arnolfini portrait was a painting. The portrait of Sin Sukju was also created with ink and silk, while thin layers of oil paint were used to create lifelike textures in the Arnolfini portrait. And this concludes our art history project.